my channel. So this is another Divine Masculine reading. So let's go ahead and jump right in. So Divine Masculine, I kind of feel like you no longer like holding your tongue back when it comes to a certain situation. You could have been like shy, soft-spoken, holding back, acting like a skitty cat or whatever. But I kind of feel like you ain't holding yourself back, okay? Um, for what it is that you have to say. Okay, um, I kind of, you have a lot of good karma surrounding you, okay? Um, you're definitely balancing out your chakras, balancing out your energy, okay, within. Um, I kind of feel like somebody definitely wants some type of forgiveness thing, um, forgiveness here, okay? Um, you could have been exit for forgiveness for somebody, or somebody could have been exit for some type of apology to you here, okay? Um, and it's a karmic in your energy who is really, really jealous. Okay, um, because of this. Hold on one second. So there's a karmic in your energy who is jealous because of this. Um. Hmm. So we have this King of Pentacles again. So a lot of these readings had the King of Pentacles showing up first. Uh, for some reason, a couple of them did. Some of the Death Five Feminine readings did too. So you might want to look at some of them. Um, because your Divine Feminine may be coming through in this situation. But yeah, I kind of feel like somebody is definitely being successful. Somebody is really successful here. Somebody is very confident. Okay. Um, and I kind of feel like this is the reason why you're coming out of this energy of like, Feeling scared to say whatever or something like that because you, you in this confident, bold type of energy here. Okay, I'm um, feeling confident. I kind of feel like whatever burdens that you had, okay, you landed to rest. Those burdens is definitely being lifted, okay? Um, and you, in a, a situation where you felt like you had no control over, okay, or a situation where you felt like you had no power, you're gaining confidence, okay? Um, this is a situation where you felt like you were stuck, okay? Um, so you felt like you were stuck in it, but it kind of felt like you gained some type of power here and you dropping these burdens from this situation. Um, yeah, I kind of feel like this could have been a codependent situation. So somebody could have been codependent to you or somebody could have been taking your kindness for weakness. And yeah, it's like you, <laughs> yeah, you letting these people, whoever this was that was like taking your kindness for weakness or whatever the case could be, you letting them go. Okay. Um, Somebody wants some type of forgiveness here with this judgment card, okay, because they see that you're not in this loving type of energy no more, or they can't walk over you no more, or something like that here, and they want to heal the situation, or something like that, somebody want to heal a certain situation and wants forgiveness, okay? Uh, so somebody has been trying to walk over you and take your kindness. Take your kindness for weakness here, but I kind of feel like you dropping that, there was a burden here, you were stuck in that type of energy here with this person, and now you're gaining your power back, you take it back in your control. Okay, um, other people could have been working together here to try to cause some type of, um, to try to cause insecurities with you here, okay, and try to, um, because we had the King of Cups in reverse, and we had the Queen of Cups in reverse, like, somebody was watching, okay, to see if you was, like, struggling, or to see if you was feeling insecure, okay, or whatever, when it comes, somebody was putting you in the third party situation, but this is, other people, this is, like, a lot of people working together trying to do this here to you, Okay, but I kind of thought you stood up for yourself, you standing up for yourself here, and, um, yeah, now somebody is saying, baby, please forgive me, or you seek a forgiveness, somebody wants to heal, in a certain situation where there was love, like, two people who was in love with each other wasn't seeing eye to eye with each other, and you both left each other out in the cold, but I kind of feel like things is about to start working out with the two of you guys here, or things about to start coming together here with the two of you guys, um, and I kind of feel like, Forgiveness and forgiveness and healing is in need between the two of y'all here, and it's a karmic energy on the side who is jealous that this is about to happen, or that you're not stuck anymore, that you're dropping burdens, okay, or that you gained your confidence and you um you broke free from somebody's control, okay, and being um and letting somebody take your kindness or weakness here, okay. So a comic is losing their shit, pulling out all they fucking hair, that bitch ready to be bald headed. Okay, um <laughs> So we got <laughs> we got um Source Virgo Capricorn, Scorpio Cancer Pisces, Sagittarius, um and Aries in the GM. So we have the situation will improve, yes.
It did, um, you did, do not forsake, do not forsake, um, do not forsake and she will protect you, love her, and she will watch over you, Proverbs 4, 6, okay? Um, so yeah, you might want to go read that verse in the Bible here, and then we have, um, deep in your heart, you already know the answer, do what feels right. So yeah, somebody already knows what's the right thing to do, but then you do. This is the reason why somebody is, like, taking back their control and... You know, um, asking for apology or asking somebody to forgive you for something they had done. Okay, cause you know he was getting, somebody was getting bad karma when he was like attached. Like you could have been attached to a karmic energy or karmic people. But, like I said, other people were trying to work to stop and looking to see if he was like suffering or whatever the case may be. They could be karmics. Like they mad that, you know, things is about to start working out for you. Okay, you and your person or working out in your life in general. Okay, um, so we have, um, Yeah, the situation will improve. So we have a Scorpio, Venus, a rising Virgo, a Taurus moon, Aquarius moon, and a Leo moon here. Other than the signs that I already called. So hopefully you guys got something from this reading. Go ahead and like the video, subscribe to the channel, drop your comments, and hit me up on Instagram for personal. And I'll see you guys in the next one.